So a few weeks ago, I had an epiphany. There were more Mickey Mouse games than just Castle of Illusion or Magical Quest. <gasps> and one of them is actually based on one of Mickey's more iconic um, sh um, uh, theatrical shorts. This one is uh, Magical Mirror. Hmm. So the Through the Looking Glass one. Nice. Yeah, Ma Disney's Magical Mirror starring Mickey Mouse based on the uh, based on the old short Through the Mirror, though this time it's a magical mirror. You know, just thinking about it, because I noticed that Capcom helped with this too. Capcom helped with a lot of Disney games now that I think about it. Like, we have the Magical Quest series, they did the Nightmare Before Christmas game for the consoles, and now this. Were there any other oh, games yeah. they helped with? I mean, there's all the stuff that they made during the 90s, if that means anything. Just, yeah. Um, this game is often overlooked, and for those that actually have played it, it's not exactly the strongest of Mickey Mouse games that Capcom created, but at the same time, though, well... I did have a bit of a childhood with this one. In fact, I'd say this is actually the first Mickey Mouse game I ever played. What? Well, oh, actually, the first game, Mickey Mouse game I ever owned, besides like the racing game or Magical Tetris Challenge. So, uh, and I did what? I did look this game over rather thoroughly during its during like, you know, when during the GameCube's early years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when they were touting such such great games like Melee, Luigi's Mansion, and Mickey. And uh, this game was among among those. So, um, oh gosh. Whoa. So for those that have never actually watched the short, ooh. Basically, um, there's another world beyond the mirror, and, well, Mickey decides to go there in his own dreams. Though, unlike the short, he's coerced into going into the mirror because of this mischievous ghost-like figure. I don't think so. I just noticed his ears... I just noticed his ears can actually be flat seen on the side. This game's ruined forever. Yeah, this was, this was unfortunately before it became common, uh, Capcom practice that Mickey's ears should follow 2D logic. Yeah. Oop, there we so go. just deal with us for now. I do appreciate that bit of like animation knowledge where it's like he did the exact same gesture as he did in the old short as well. And so <laughs> Mickey goes through the mirror and lands firmly oh. on his bum. Yeah, I was gonna say he lands on his bum and oh my god, he has no tail. <gasps> yeah, maybe it's tucked in his shorts. I mean, hmm. could be. I mean, Mickey, Mickey with it having a tail has always been sort of an inconsistent little thing. Like, sometimes you see him with one, sometimes you don't see him without You see him without one, and it's just like, yeah, yeah so, uh, unlike most other Mickey Mouse games that you might be familiar with, this one's a point and click. Huh, okay. But this is on PC, of course, right? Actually, no. It's on the Nintendo GameCube. Was it GameCube exclusive, or is it on other consoles? It was GameCube exclusive. And there's a funny story behind that because, well, while Capcom did most of the work, uh, Nintendo had a fair share in helping helping them out with this project as well. In fact, you oh, might really? see some familiar faces once we get to the credits. Hmm. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, familiar uh, names anyway. But um, yeah, that was a really weird trick. Let's see what what it's all about. Um, do, 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 do. uh, behind you. Uh, maybe if I stare long enough into the abyss, I can find out just what's going on here. By the way, do you hear something? There's gotta be a trick to this door. Get in! Don't. Oh! Oh! What? Wait a minute. <laughs> this Mickey is a trickster. Huh? And we don't take kindly to tricksters around here. You know what to do, Mickey. Yeah, for him. care. <laughs> so is this all just like flavor, like animations, oh. all of putt putt or things like that, or is this actually like get, we need to do this for gameplay? For this part, yeah, it, it it's. It's this is pretty much the tutorial of the game. Even though the most you really are doing is just clicking on both doors and then watching the watching the madness happen. Stop right there. Uh, okay. There's a little. Tr don't worry. There's more to the game than just. <laughs> you know, that was just, just a bunch of cheap look cycles. cycles. <laughs> what a rip. Actually, better yet. <laughs> what a rip. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> That's the last oh, episode. God, that was just a play. bunch of cheap look cycles. I don't know how to do goofy. Oh what is that shoot. Thing? Wow. That's the ghost of this here alternate universe. What was that thing he dropped? That thing he hmm. dropped is going to be one of our major gimmicks behind the game. It's a star holder. Huh, okay. Well, normally in video games you might find a, find, a, find a container that usually gives you an extra hit, hit point or whatever. This one gives you a star. And stars serve a very interesting purpose in this game. In that they are basically... It, it goes into what this game calls the trick system. <gasps> oh! And the trick system is basically just well, go go um act um interact with certain objects, and if you, and uh sometimes you will need to spend a spend a star in order to activate the trick. Trick! Don't trick him. 
Okay, well, we have to. Unfortunately, this is a but thou must situation. I tricked the door. Huh? It wasn't a huh? door after all. It was. Uh, you fell from my truck door. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's not a door, but Whoa. it's just the ghost being all. Hello. And he has a key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, he dropped said key. Oh, well, oh. that was nice of him. Oh, uh, well, that's I'll... a fine. How do you do? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. 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 So yeah, much. So yeah, you gotta work. The big, ma the major collectibles of this game are the star holders. You also got your occasional keys. You know, Zelda logic. You need, need them in order to open certain locked doors. Well, actually, no. Zelda wouldn't be the best, best um, uh, uh, freaking comparison I can make. I would say this game is actually more comparable to that of a kid-friendly Resident Evil. Sort of. And actually, sorry to do this right as soon as Logan left, but I'll be right back as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. It. Don't be. Don't leave me. Don't leave me behind. That's well, okay. Jordan is still here. I still got you yeah. two ladies by my side, and uh, Yay. Why, Yay. why don't I show you first dibs on what's behind this door? Okay. It's the name. It's the namesake magical mirror. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Our ticket home. Well, I mean, I gotta say, it's our. It's hard to hard to believe it's already come to this point. We're already at the end of the game. We can just leave whenever we want. So why don't we? Yeah, how are we gonna get across? Simple. Do all Super Mario 64 logic. Jump into it. And we can't do it apparently. Nope, because you know the magical mirror has a sense of humor too. I'm back. Aww, oh, mirror. I just got why back too. Actually. Sure. Oh wow. wow. Gee, watch this. Well, get out Gee. there. We gotta save us. We gotta save ourselves. Oh. Now, um, one thing I'll say real <laughs> quick is that um, when you start the game off, you, there's two difficulties you can select. There's the kid difficulty and the normal difficulty. In the normal difficulty, the ghost, the ghost plays a very cruel prank on Mickey that will render us unable to leave. Oh? Observe. Oh! Static electricity. What? Just jump over it. Well, no, uh -oh. look. No, look! Oh, no! <gasps> well, joke's on you! You have seven years bad luck now, uh-huh! Also, is it immediately obvious that this game was made by Capcom, considering some of the cinematic shit they do in this game? <laughs> yep. Like, I'm convinced that some of the some people behind the Devil May Cry games were involved in the uh, cinematography. <laughs> Shark Punk! Wow. Well, that is quite a... I'm not gonna say you're wrong on that sentiment. That being said, it feels so weird just to look at that bit of like Mickey looking around as the glass is shattered and be like, "That's clearly the Devil May Cry people." <laughs> well, I guess I should ask. Uh, oh, wait a minute! What? It shrunk. All of these cute expressions and stuff all happening. What is the what is happening in this game? So. This is pretty much where we're introduced to our other major gimmick of the game. These mirror shards here. Okay, uh, Jerry on the harp, you, we get it. You don't have to keep <laughs> strumming the same lines. Woohoo! There we go. These mirror, the mirror shards fly away to multiple parts throughout this here mansion. Because, of yeah, this alternate... I mean, I call it an alternate universe. We're actually inside a, a big uh, Resident Evil-like manor. So it is Devil May Cry. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? So, um, in all of this, in all of this that I'm looking at here, our job is we need to guide Mickey, point and click adventure style, to, to find every single one of these shards to get home. Not, you don't need to get all the shards, though, I mean, I would say it's definitely recommended to find them all if you want, want the full ending of the game, but that being said, yeah, the whole, the mirror shards are scattered all over the place, and, um... Like it or not, there's going to be certain times where you're going to need the help help of other um, aspects of the mansion in order to see your whole, you know, thing through. But just real quick, you just talk about how, like, so this is like Resident Evil. I just imagine it's like, I hope this isn't Goofy's blood. It, it's great. <laughs> so, yeah, that swirly door there looks rather interesting. Unfortunately, we can't do much with it. Spoiler okay. warnings, that's actually, that's actually a fast, that's actually a hot spot, um... That's actually a fast travel sort of door. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, 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 no. okay. You'll find other doors like it, and you'll be warped back to this room. Oh, uh, James, you mentioned that in kitty difficulty something happens, or normal difficulty. So, what would normally happen if we didn't have the di if we had a different difficulty set? 
Okay, so I'll just say this right now. Kitty mode for this game, or kids mode for this game is essentially just a much a, a much more abridged version of the overall adventure. The trick system is more or less out in that you can still do the tricks, but you don't have to spend stars in order, in order to do them. And a good 20, 30, a good 30 or 40 percent of the game's um, events are locked or just not there entirely. Oh, uh, so okay. it's just an abridged version of the entire game. Mm -hmm, pretty much, which is why I'm going for normal mode. You, it's pretty much, I mean, especially considering the fact that, you know, I'm not a goddamn kid. I feel like I, I deserve I deserve to at least try to challenge myself with this game. Fair. About as That's much of fair. a challenge as this game can offer. Yeah. So, okay, uh, Jordy, Celia, what are you guys thinking of this little cutesy mess? It looks fun. Yeah, it's cute. It's crazy. It's Mickey. Oh, what it more is. can you ask for? Oh, one thing. One thing. Look, it does look a bit dated, though. Yeah, it's though, pretty dated. I mean, I'll give the, I'll give credit for oh. where it's due. Like for its time, it did look very nice, and like just the all the kinds of expressions that Mickey pulls off in this game, you, you don't see you didn't see that an awful lot with licensed titles. That's yeah. fair. The one thing I will say hasn't aged the best is how, the way they try to simulate the whole cell shading nature of Mickey's eyes. Here they try uh -huh. to make it. The way they do it here is that they sort of... His eyes are a little sunken in to sort of give the illusion that they're supposed to be... Um, an outline? Or, or, or line. Yeah, they're, but, but it's, an, it's an outer line. Yeah, okay, which I can see that. They, get, they did it better in, like, the uh, the other game that they made, Hide and Sneak. But for this game, no, it just looks like his eyes are a tad sunken in. Which, I mean, not as bad as you'd think, but it's like it still feels kind of weird. Makes it look like he hasn't had enough sleep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Considering the fact that, well, we're, well, you know what? It's a good thing that it's a good thing we're just playing as his dream self. So yeah, we're pretty much done here. So why don't we head on over to this uh, little hallway? And um, how nice of them to give us the stars, which will which will recharge our meter. And oh, what luck! There's a mirror shard here. Get it? But I can't do shit about it. Yeah, wait, wait, yeah, I guess we? Yeah, I guess we should talk about this. Uh, James considered the point-and-click adventure game. I, from what I've seen in gameplay, I liken it more Ooh. to that one Pac-Man game that we did. Where oh, yeah, the new adventures. Not, where you're not real. It's not really a point-and-click adventure game. You're more so suggesting what Mickey should do. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Although I would say in this game's case, you have more control over Mickey's actions than you do with Pac-Man's. Yeah. Oh, what was the shadow doing there? Yeah, this is a weird shadow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah, other. Okay, we got it. We do have to approach that. Yeah. One thing I'm gonna go ahead and warn you guys right now. I recorded this entire game through Dolphin. Unfortunately, um, there's some aspects of the game that Dolphin doesn't entirely like, and it, it's mostly to do with the shadows. Ah, uh, okay. And there will be times, unfortunately, where the game will glitch out in such a way where the, where there's going to be some really improper um, artifacting. Unfor um, um, there wasn't really much I could do about that without, you know, a lot of trial and error, and I didn't want to do that for the sake of this playthrough, so I'm terribly sorry if some of it might seem distracting, but okay. I did try my best to hide it. I think it's, okay. I, I think it's only going to happen like a fraction amount of, this, of the time that we're going to be spending here, and I'm... Again, I'm curious to learn more about what's happening here. Oh yeah, like, like if, I will apologize if things seem a little dull at the moment. Like, this is basically the opening bits of the game that's trying to warm you up to all that you're supposed to, that just warm you up to the idea of how to play this game. That's like fair. the fact that you have an inventory system. Oh, we have an actual like point and click adventure combine items with other items system. More like it's they'll leave, they'll leave out the items here that you can use in certain scenarios. You can't really mix them per se, but it's just there for the sake of well showing you what you've got. Speaking of which, if we go through this door right here, we should be coming across one of our first collectible items. Mm -hmm. A key. And naturally, oh, yeah. Cool. Keys will work for that. Keys still work the same way as you would in the natural Zelda or Resident Evil mm -hmm. title. Again, I'll, I'll be throwing a lot of comparisons to uh, some of Capcom's styles with this game, because, you know, if it's not immediately obvious that they're the developers... It's ham. It is ham. That is straight up ham. Feed him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, not ham there does serve a particular side quest that involves these coins you can find throughout the mansion. Okay, do oh, we ever get, like, a quest. map... I do say side quest in reality. You do sort of. Oh, that's right. Oh, you can stop also it. fiddle with Mickey here if you feel like. <laughs> hey, stop I guess, it. So I should ask. Oh, his ear. Stop it. Oh, oh, trust me. Later portion of the game, if you try doing that to him, you'll actually get start getting a little violent. 
I was like, I'll change it. I would love if he just grabs your curse and throw it, chucks it. <laughs> uh, mm. Stay tuned, Logan. There's a gear oh, God, in here. Oh, God, I can't wait. I don't, who, put, who puts a gear in a piggy bank anyway? Poor Ham must be having indigestion problems. I'm wondering how they I'm wondering how they were able to fit the devil damn gear in there. And I'm just here being a dork looking at it and oh, thinking, God. Oh, metal gear! Metal gear! So here's what you gotta do. Insert a coin. Oh, oh okay. God. How does that... Ma so we're gonna... I just know... Oh, oh, clever. Another star holder. And I was gonna say... That actually... I just realized we're about to, like... Really, like, torture Ham. If, <laughs> if if I think... If that is going... If that... If that alone was a hint of where this story is going to go along for our poor piggy bank there. Okay. <laughs> just... Yeah. Stay tuned, folks. Things are gonna get a little... In, a little more interesting. <laughs> So, uh, last thing I was going to ask is, do we ever get, like, a map to know where we are and what we're doing? Unfortunately, this game does not have a map system, though, considering the fact that a lot of this, a lot of the game's, um, set pieces are pretty distinct between, amongst one, one another, and it's not really that huge of a mansion to begin with, I would say it's really not that hard to really find your way around this place. Okay. To I think I, I know I've played, a, I feel like I have played games mm -hmm. like this before, like, usually by Humongous Entertainment, what the- Hit the button. <gasps> Ooh! Oops. Sorry, something's so well. My desk. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> oh, oh no. goodness! A the ghost. There's a creep behind the shadow. Is a ghost? Oh, it's just him. Oh, <laughs> oh it's just it's just the ghost. Is, is that is that paper ghost going to be like our only real opposition in this game? Unfortunately, hype. Yes, he is literally the only opposition. We, well, the only <laughs> oh, okay, opposition, opposition we have. Okay, I'll admit that got me a bit, and I loved how Mickey just ducked and just the sharp pause of. Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, look, a quarter. Uh, and okay. I love that. That's the reason that it's like he ducked. He's like, oh, look, a quarter. Bends down, and it's like uh, fire. Okay, so I'll admit <sighs> here. I kind of did a bit of a goof because. Um, uh, when it, if you oh. try to leave the room, the ghost will blow out the tor blow out the candlelight, oh, which no. I shouldn't have done immediately because without the light, I can't turn mm -hmm. on the light switch. She can't see it; it's right there. What? Oh my god! The only light source is gone. Now my ability to see has been disappeared. Yeah, it's unfortunately that kind of game where you do need an additional light source to actually see the on and off switch. Now. Like. Even like like screw echolocation, Mickey. Just swing your big cock and ears left to right, and they'll clip the light switch eventually. And okay, uh, I'm, I'm glad you oh. finished that sentence because it almost sounded like you said swing yeah. your big something else. Yeah, that's why I was snickering. Yeah, be careful with what you say, dude. Especially in a children's game. It's oh. ears and and, and, and <laughs> no, the adjective that you said before ears. A honkin. Think about what that sounds like. I thought you said something else. Oh shush. Anyways. Anyway, to anyway to further on what 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 I was trying to tell hype. Yes, unfortunately the ghost there is the only other tangible thing we have to we have to worry about in this game. Unfortunately, none of Mickey's friends are are well. None of Mickey's <clears throat> friends are act are in the game in person. Like you will find references to them all in, here and there, but otherwise, it's just the, it, the only characters that are worth assault are Mickey and that ghost. Hmm. Huh. Why would I dream about Donald? He's a jerk! Uh huh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> if Donald was the one doing all this crap to Mickey, that would be kind of funny. So. It'd be like, it'd be like Rabbit Rampage, only instead of Daffy torturing bugs, it's Tall torturing Mickey. <laughs> well, why'd I do it again, Donald? I don't exist! Uh, and I was, oh, there we go. And I was gonna say, um. Uh, because I've now looked into it, James, are we showing, are we gonna show off the quote unquote bad ending? Um, not really. I decided to go for the the best for the best ending in this game. Okay, I think so it's asking like if there's. Sorry. No, 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 because I because I can tell you now there is a bad ending. Which oh, we need two tricks. Yeah. To jump one extra centimeter. Nah, and, need one more star. But you know what? I'm gonna be coming back here anyway, so I'll just ignore it for now. It is now. It, I'm gonna. I'm hoping it is impossible to. It's impossible to not ever. Oh, have, speaking oh, of Donald. Donald. Oh, Donald. There, there's Donald. Donald. Plush there. Ah, <laughs> So these are pretty much a, a, an entirely optional collection type of collectible you can find, in that you'll find random little bits of um, accessories or furniture lying around around the mansion, and um, uh, they don't really serve a really important purpose. But oh, cool. uh, you'll see what you'll see what that's all about. Uh, end game. 
So I can see that whenever you get a star holder, you automatically get a full star meter, and there are sometimes stars hovering around. Oh, okay. Do stars You're res oh, okay. Unfortunately, it's, that's where it, the it's artifact just restarts. It's just carpet. It I've noticed that these kinds of these kinds of artifacting sort of um, problems are usually in enclosed spaces mm -hmm. like this. Oh, not but again, anyway, it's fine. <laughs> so long as you guys can can um, can um, you know not worry too much about it, I think we'll be fine. Hmm. Oh, Dread, I forgot to pay my power bill. Uh -huh. So yeah, use? unfortunately the power button don't work, and there's actually a very valid reason behind it. Oh, we don't well. know. <laughs> the fact is, we don't know why it is, so we need to get an item. Okay, but I was going to say, I'm assuming it's impossible oh, to run out of... Oh, there's a problem. Oh. It's not plugged in! <clears throat> but yeah, I was going oh. ass... to say, I'm assuming it's impossible to run out of stars to not be able to do tricks. Uh, yeah, it should be relatively impossible, because stars usually do, um, they usually do, um, respawn. Why is okay. that giant crack on the door for? I don't oh, know. Uh, oh, stay tuned for that. That It'll, it'll serve, it'll serve another fun little callback to Through the Mirror. Okay. Uh, toy plane, and, uh... So, okay, we guys gotta get to that part of me asking about this. Has anyone here ever played this game before this? I have not. No. I remember uh -uh. seeing the... I remember seeing the commercial for it. I read the manual for it one time when I was in a GameStop, and that's about it. Okay. As far as they were actually allowed to... Let you, they were, they were, you were allowed to actually read the manual at the GameStop. Although, there are plenty of... This was, you know, back in the day when rental places were a lot more commonplace. There actually are some versions of GameStop that actually were a little loose about that. Does anyone does anyone miss those rental places at all? I do. Uh, not really. I kind of do. I miss the novelty of it. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this will come in handy. Oh. It's a flashlight. <laughs> I do like how expressive Mickey is in all this. But yeah. you know what? I feel like there might be more inside that toy box. Why don't we give it another check? Okay. What we got? Our oh. all oh. pain. Gave him a heart. Oh. Pain. Oh wait, why is he saying still? Hold on. Uh. Oh. Oh god, it's okay. a horse trap. Poor Mickey. That's just embarrassing. Now that's just racist. Okay, I gotta <laughs> ask. Okay, so two things gotta say. First off, hype. Yes, there's technically a bad ending. You remember the mirror room we were in? Uh huh. It is possible that you could literally just ride when James was there, be like, Yeah, I'm gone, and you could just go right back to the mirror again and leave. But if you try to do that without collecting all of the mirror shards, then it's implied that you never escaped to begin with. Gotcha. Oh, hey! Wow. So, yeah. Including all of my assets in shadow format. Anyway, uh, moving on. Um, and the thing I was going to ask then, James, is is it possible to, other than purposefully leaving for no reason, is it possible to actually, like, die or, like, lose entirely? Oh, no, no. There's no, there's no game, there's no game overs in this game whatsoever. Okay. That's good. I mean, there's no health, there's no health meter of the sword either. Like, all you really have is the star, is the star meter, which is only for the sake of tricks. Which I'm not gonna lie, before, before I really looked into the game and I saw the stars, I thought that actually was his health. Me too, I thought that was going to... Especially when you brought up earlier the fact that the star container was kind of like a heart container from Zelda. I was like, oh, no, anyway. So, yeah. We're going to do this whole game. Yep, the entire thing. Or at least as much as I can. I will say that, um, as far as this playthrough is concerned, I will be going for all the shards, and I will be going for all the um, heart holders and keys. I won't be going for all the, collect the uh, optional collectibles, though, like that Donald plush we found earlier, because... Most of them only spawn in at very random intervals, which I haven't been able to entirely to do. Oh, like so it's one, random. One one thing you can find is literally this whole this whole clay like portrait of Goofy, but I was but uh, but I was able to find that on my test playthrough. But for the second playthrough, it never spawned, and I'm not sure why. Huh. Um, is it is it required to get the best ending? No, 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 no it's no. optional. It's okay. completely optional. Again, it only serves a fun little. It, it only serves like a fun little thing that you can do it do during the end game but we'll get more to that end game on that note folks uh, see you all later when we actually um you might you guys might have noticed that weird little witch doll of, it, um, on the table in the middle of the room we'll see what that's all about next part bye 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 huh huh